In 1942, the federal government told the black farmers and fishermen living in the Harris Neck area on the Georgia coast that they would have to move. The blacks were paid minimal prices for their land, which became an air base and finally a wildlife preserve. The blacks want the land back. Recently, they have tried protests and lawsuits to reclaim what they say is rightfully theirs. This week, a federal judge ruled the Harris Neck people do not have a right to that land, but they say they'll keep trying. They'll appeal the court decision. They'll push to get a bill passed through Congress that says they can buy the land back. And they'll try to see President Carter in August. We will go with President Carter upon our going to Washington and not getting anything favorable from him to the Democratic Convention to cry louder. If we do not get results there, we will go back to Washington, D.C. and stay there with him until some favorable response comes from his position as President of the United States. Many blacks see the white-owned resort developments along the coast and want to know why there are playgrounds for the rich, as they call them, but no land for poor blacks. But the Harris Neck people see the land as more than just property. This was our home, this was our lifestyle, you know, this was what we did with ourselves. You know, no help of any kind. Uh, we made that land to look like what it is. Uh, we made it to bring forth what it did in that time. The, the real feeling of oneself is embedded around what he as a person can contribute to society. That feeling of self is what they are really trying to get back. Paul Miller, Action News.